and every frame is like the same, except the model movements. They are different. But the map and so on is the same. So I think the recording is ready in some seconds. And then we can quit. Yes, he's ready. So we can quit the demo. And that's it. So we are back on my desktop out of Counter-Strike. So for the music I recognize that he mixed the uh, music with my voice. I don't know why but hope you enjoy this. Now we go to my folder number 3 on GMDT TMP and you could see here our image sequence of Aztec, also the death dump and we have of course our all that means uh, normal um, shot and we have our biovision um, motion file. So the next thing is I use my program MDT before H2C4D and uh, he has to perfect and this creates from the before H file to ASCII file so we can easily import this uh, motion of the camera in Cinema 4D. I also made a tutorial for this. We can also check this tutorial out by Creative Movies in the tutorial rubric and you see here my tutorial CS camera to Cinema 4D and you have here the download and also a second download no moment where is the download? Whatever. Here's the download for the tutorial and enjoy it. I won't import this very fast, so if any question to the importing by cameras from Counter-Strike in Cinema 4D, look at first on this tutorial. So we start the program, type the name of our B4H file, add stack, underline tutorial, underline 00, underline motion, Punct or dot before H and I think it's all okay and enter. So he creates us these two files the motion XYZ file with all information of the cameras and of course our your pitch and roll. Hmm, I name this file. Whatever. So now we start Cinema 4D. And at first we want to import this, the camera in Cinema 4D. So we are now in Cinema 4D. The first thing we do is we create two polygon objects. The first we name XYZ. And the second we name Angels or Yes, angels. So go to the first, go to structure and go and import ASCII data. Now I'm in the MDT folder and in folder number 3 we can import the motion XYZ file and he imports us all points. We do the same with the angels but this time we click on the motion your pitch wall txt and we have also the changing of the angels 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 whatever i think angels is the right for know what i mean and now we create a camera so we have here our camera i move this to zero 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 so we can see this better and now we create an expresso tag. Right click on the camera, Cinema 4D tags, expresso. And now drag and drop these three objects into the X group. And I position this. And now I load my self made Cinema 4D expression. So 
So now we can check the basics. We see here as Remac some input comments. The first point is the XYZ as object, the second is a frame rate, and the third is also the same, but we need for this the your pitch and roll as object, or here the angels. So we click at first on this um, expression, and we have here the wheel, and we use 30 frames per second in Counter Strike, so we enter here 30. We say we need XYZ as object, and also the angels as object. Combine these. So now we have to check out what are what's about the output. The first point is the global position, then the global heat or yaw, then the pitch, and then the blank or roll. So global position, heat, pitch, and then our blank. So easily connect these four points, and that's it. Now, if we move back a little bit, we see our camera is moving like the same in Cinema 4D. The first seconds he stands, and then he began to record. But we have also changed some project settings because we have 90 frames here and. Our capturing was a little bit longer, so we can easily go into the structure, for example, of XYZ. Go to the last line and we see 335. So go to the project settings. We have a frame rate from 30 and we enter here 335. So that's the full animation. And we see he's moving. And yeah. I check the animation with uh up. So I load the animation, the image sequence of our capturing into up to check if the Animation is like the same in Cinema 4D. Then somewhere and then the camera goes up. And let me check what this about. And you see it's going. The camera is moving up and also rotating something. And it's the same. So now we have import our camera that we also know before or knew before and I want to show you something new. So at first I make a backup copy named this Aztec tutorial and we name this Aztec cam. So now the interesting point is we can also import the map. For this I use the BSP viewer. So we are now in the BSP viewer. And you can easily load over packages the maps. For example I load the map the adsec we need. So double click on the file and he is already loading. Oh, this was the... We have to load this file. So, this is the app stack. You see some... Uh, yes. This is the app stack. You see, for example, this um, pink box. These are also um, boxes for some action events. For example, this is the event where the city spawns or this is the bomb spot box so you can all over this box plant a bomb and yes for example this is also for the sound and so on if you don't have these packages you can also 